hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here i am viewer your finance online tutor i'm here to make sure you pass the finance module in just five minutes to ten minutes in some videos so today's video i'm here to teach you how to use your financial calculator on calculating um the loan amortization amount which is the interest the principal amount and yeah so um we're going to use the same data we've used when we're calculating using the table because this is the table that we did in the previous video so now i'm teaching you how to use the calculator so on our calculator this is our calculator so we as usual we say orange shift clear all and that's it so we have done that so we are going to say um we're going to use the same data as i've said before we're going to say 600 is our loan amount that's our PV and then we say our interest which is 10% and then we say 4 is our N so we have the data we have to calculate the PMT because that's what we are looking for so this is our PMT that we have calculated using our financial calculator so now we are going to calculate we are we want the interest let's say we want the interest we are, the question asked us to say what is the interest from year one to year three so that's the question so the interest usually what we do when we're calculating the interest from year one to year three we are going to add this value this value this value when we're asked the interest from year one to year three but if we are asked the interest for year three we are going to say this is the uh, the interest for year three because they are just asking for year three. So now, if you are using a financial calculator and you ask the interest from year one to year three, this is what you are going to do. You are going to say one, and then you say input, and then you say three, then you say orange shift, then you press this amount. You see, it shows you it's from year one to year three. It's amortization table. So it's in the calculator already. So you need to calculate the amount, which is the interest. You want to know the interest. So you are going to press your equal to. That's the principal amount from year one to year three. That means if you are adding this amount again, you are going to get this value. Let's do it using our, our, our cashew so in our cashew we are going to say one two nine two comma eighty two plus one four two two comma one plus one five six four comma three one so that's the value for our principal amount from year one to year three so this is the value in our financial calculator you can tell that they are the same it tells us the value from year one to year three then if you want to know the interest from year one to year three we're still going to press equal to because it shows us the principal amount now we want to know the interest so we press the equal to again there we go that's our interest value is it's a sign there's a principal amount now there's an interest so that's a sorry the interest value so to confirm that if that's true we are going to say again 600 Sorry, um, 600 plus 470,72 plus 328,51. So there we go. This is the value for our interest from year one to year three. If you see, they are the same. So now the end, the next, uh, when you're pressing the end, this is the balance from year, from year one to year three. If you notice this is the balance in year three. This is the balance in year three. This is the balance in year three. So if this is the balance from year three, there we have it here also. Same answer. So that's the balance in year three. We don't add anything at the end of the with the balance. It just shows you exactly how much you owe at the end of year three. So in a case where you want to know for one year, not for every year, not for three years. We are going to say, let's say we want to know for year three. So if you want to know for year three, we are going to say again, um, three, we say input, then we press three. 
and then you say orange sorry ish, 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 ish. you say orange shift then you say amot so it tells you three to three so for three to three it's going to show you the principal amount this is the principal amount same as this one same as this one that's for year three same for this one and we have this is our principal amount so it's the same you can tell you can just see and then for our interest we're looking for interest that's a principal amount for our interest this is our interest and this is our interest so you can see from financial calculator that's our interest and then for our balance that's our balance in the case we are doing for year one we are going to say one press one you are pressing one then you say input and you press one then you say orange shift then you press the amount that's for the one and then you say equal to that's our principal amount and then you press equal to, that's our interest and then you press equal to, and that's our balance same as this one so that's how you do it with the financial calculator it's easy like that to save time if you are asked about the balance for the years you can use a financial calculator without drawing this table because if you're drawing this table and you are asked about the balances then you are going to waste a lot of time and you won't have time to finish other questions so make sure you know how to use a financial calculator and then you master this so yeah guys i hope you understand and i hope you did see everything that i've taught you using the financial calculator to calculate the loan amortization table